Saints overall in the standings. T71 of uh, Robbie Bird, who uh, is back in 25th. The Q15 equal top point scorer coming into uh, the final night. Matt Pascoe from the back of the bus. 13th overall, the T6. Devonport's own Brad Smith. Seven starters, 12 laps ahead of us. Heat 16 of the Australian Super Saiyan Championship is underway. And a pretty even start between uh, Billy Miller on the outside and the, uh, the Tasmanian on the inside of Jared Harper. And Bill Miller has the nose in front with a great bit of driving. Harper flies back on the inside. Oh, a bit of contact between the two of them. And uh, Miller spins across the racetrack. They all took evasive action and uh, got away with that one without too much damage, I hope, for uh, Billy Miller and the South Australian number 77. Stridey, how did you see that one? Well, it was actually, I was actually obscured from it, but I was just thinking to myself, Paul, no, 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 not Billy Miller. They worked probably half the night to get the car back out there. They don't need this yep. at this stage. Not fortunately, the car looks okay as he rolls past us. It is uh, the grand final, the final night of the Australian Super City and Championship of 2015 here at the Bendigo Bank Arena. Harper and Miller uh, will restart on the front row. Cars rolling into turn number three. Big crowd on hand for this final night. Set for a start. Heat 16, the resumption back underway, 12 laps ahead of us, and a pretty even start between uh, Harper and Miller as they go into turns 1 and 2 for the first time, and Harper has a nose in front of him, a touch between uh, Miller and Harper as uh, Miller now falls back to fourth place, as uh, Jason Campbell runs wide, and look who's on the charge, Matty Pasco in the Q15 for Crane Corp Australia, is up into fourth place from uh, the third row already, with one down and 11 to run, it's Harper from Ryan Alexander in second, Campbell in third from Pasco, Brad Smith up in the fifth from Bill Miller and uh, Robbie Bird in the T71. Rounds out your runners, two down and uh, ten remaining. And Jared Harper has Ryan Alexander trying to find a way past. Alexander in the South Australia, number 36 for NZ. As they go through uh, pitch corner again, their line is third. About half track high out of turn four with three down and nine to run. The 2012 F Shield champion leads at the moment. Oh, boy, G, Jason Campbell has got uh, the car standing right up on the right rear wheel and uh, looks like he might have some suspension damage. He loses uh, two spots in the process and in fact he does. The right rear wheel hanging right down on the Q97 so that's going to uh, affect his points tally, that is for sure. He dropped back through the field, back to seventh. He was in 14th place in the standings heading into this one so this might cost Campbell dearly with uh, some major suspension damage to the right rear corner of the Q97 as the race continues and by G, it's really starting to hold up front. They've all bottled up but behind the race leader. And that being Jared Harper as they come out of turn number four. With uh, six down and six to run. We're halfway home as Brad Smith runs wide. And Matt Pasco looks to the inside on Ryan Alexander. We've got a three-car battle for the race leader as uh, Campbell now retires to the infield. Alexander runs wide. Matty Pasco looks to the inside. It's South Australia versus Queensland. They come down the front straight. And this allows Jared Harper to just get clear by about a car in as uh, Pasco chucks back into line in third place and Brent Smith is still in this one in the little transport T6. As they come out of turn four and down the front straight with four to run in the final heat race of the 2015 Australian Super Saiyan Championship. Pasco again looks to the inside of Alexander. They go down the back straight into turn three and four. Jared Harper just holding on to the moment from Ryan Alexander, Matt Pasco and Brad Smith, their line of soon are the four rowers out in front Billy Miller still in fifth and Robbie Bird in a T71 still runs in sixth as they go down the back straight yet again they're on lap 10, they'll come out of uh, pitch corner with just two to run and can the 2012 national champion in Jared Harper, can he hold on he's got two to run on his home track he's got Ryan Alexander, Matt Pasco and Brad Smith following him line of soon down the back straight for the second last time. Alexander has a bit of a look on the uh, the exit of turn number four. One to run, and Harper is just holding on. Pasco goes to the inside on Alexander. The wheel to wheel out of turn number two. They're side by side. Down the back straight away. Pasco just has the nose in front. Through turn three and four for the last time. Jared Harper will just hold on. They win the final heat race of the weekend from Alexander. Pasco going in third. From Brad Smith, Billy Miller will come home for fifth. And uh, Robbie Bird rounds him out, but what a thrilling climax to the heat races here in the 2015 Australian Super Sedan Championship. One of the races of the weekend, and the local Jared Harper holds on. Was that only a heat race? Oh, that was sensational. That's fantastic, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant stuff by uh, all of them out there in that heat race. And Jared Harper, who uh, the Harper name, synonymous with Super Sedan racing in this part of the country, 
Big night for the family. Two entries in the Australian Championship. And uh, this band, Jared Harper, won the championship three years ago at Archerfield in Queensland, and very shortly he'll be chatting to Guy Thompson. Yeah, he certainly will. He's just removing his helmet. The word I'm getting from the infield is that there was a shock absorber hanging out of Jason Campbell's Q97 machine. So, obviously the crew have got a bit of work to do. Jared just getting the helmet off down there in the car. And very soon we'll go down with Guy Thompson. And we'll blend with Jared Harper. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Just down here with the Wiley Tile sponsored race car, wearing you know, the wooden burn. It's got more sponsors on than he has paintwork, but he's uh, certainly struggling trying to get the neck device off here, but uh, which is uh, part of the safety device gear that they need to have. Uh, certainly, if they have a big crash, it protects them from some damage. So, as a driver, but uh, nearly there. So. He's in no hurry to good. <laughs> oh, no. He hasn't done too many interviews this weekend, so he's, uh, he's uh, just pulled the glasses off and we'll be able to get to talk to him. Jared, you've got to be pretty happy with uh, 36 points after uh, a pretty tough weekend, but uh, that certainly would move you up the field. Yeah, the points are pretty tight. But, uh, I didn't think I had a real bad night last night, but um, we didn't get any wins. We really need to win that one, and I'm pleased we did, but... Uh... The car's a little bit too free, I wasn't expecting it to be that dry so quick, but uh, thanks to the guys, have done a good job on the cars all weekend, and worked a bit late last night, got Callum sorted out again, so I can get to keep my car tonight, so <laughs> but, uh, thanks to all the sponsors, and all the people, and I think uh, on behalf of all the competitors you know, around Australia, I really want to congratulate the Trade Speedway Proprietary Limited for the last three weekends. Uh, ballsy effort and you guys, uh, great racetracks, great facilities. And uh, I hope we can do it every year. It's been a great fun. Thanks very much for that, Jared, and I uh, wish you the best for the rest of the night. Thanks, Guy. Catch it. Thanks very much, Andrew. No problem, Guy. Always very wise from a competitor to say nice things to the promoter.